Hi everyone, this is Tracy from WeCraft at Home. Happy New Year. So this is the first video of January and instead of Christmas prep, we're going to do kind of a year prep. So what I want to do is like a birthday and anniversary calendar. So for the main part, um, we need some really good quality thick cards. So... Uh, we'll be doing that over at the craft table, but we still need all the little bits. So we need the months of the year and we need some bits to be able to write the date and the person whose birthday or anniversary it is. So we're going to start off by doing the text. And the most annoying thing about canvas is that you can't, you can only go horizontally in one line you can't write vertically so I'm going to do first of all the first letter of every month in capitals so January February March April May June July August September October November December so they're all the capitals then we are going to do the next letter it will all make sense eventually A E a P A June and July are both used and so is August September October November December and then one more line for the third letter so Jan Feb March April May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so now what we're going to do with each one, we are going to divide it and then we are going to put the last letter in this square and the first letter in this square and then grab them all. See these ones with dots? We're going to have to regroup them first. Okay, and then we're going to grab them all and distribute evenly. And then we're going to do that for all the others. Okay, and then the next thing to do, just go down in lines, centralise it through the middle, and then layer and group. And we're just going to do that down the whole line. Okay, so we've now got them all in line going downwards. If we get them all, we know at the moment, let's just make sure they are, we are going to distribute evenly again just in case and then size it down because we really don't need it that big. Depends on the size of the card that you're using to be honest. Um, so we could space it out a little more. So to space it out, you just need to, um, it's going to space out between the first one and the last one. So I know that I'm going to use the board off the back of an A4 envelope that's the hard card. So I know that it's going to fit there easily with a little bit of space left so we're going to leave that there 
and then you've got to decide what shapes you want to use. Now I would definitely say we're going to need a heart for anniversaries. So you know how many anniversaries you need, you know how many hearts you need. You don't want them big though. Um, I reckon about an inch. And then what's whatever shape you want to use for your birthday. Circle, um, hexagon. Where are they gone? Pentagon, hexagon, octagon, square, rectangle, whatever you want to use. Star even, I guess. Um, I think circles are the safe bet, personally. So that's what I'm going to use. Again, down to about an inch. And then you've got to decide how many you need for each one. Um, now, the circles I'm going to cut out on construction card. And I'm going to do it twice so that I stick them together and they're more solid. But the letters I want to do on peel-off, I mean vinyl. Also on vinyl, you want to do the sign for it. So... I think what you need to do is put maybe family celebrations and we'll do family fairly big but I don't want it in that font. I'm going to change the font. Um, I want quite a solid one. That one's okay but I'm going to see if I've got one a bit more solid than that. I'm sorry I think I prefer this one. So family um, I guess celebrations which we will put Let's write it out. But I want a fancy font for this one. Now this one I can already tell needs welding and I'll show you why quickly. The letters are not joined. Can you see? So we need to weld that. But as soon as we've welded it, that's how it's going to be. It's not letters anymore. It's a shape. So, display zoom to mat size. Um, we can have that a little bit smaller, I guess. There we go. Now, I actually want to do it underneath. Could spread that out a bit more. But, um, if you want to take the word and put it in the middle, then all you've got to do is offset. Um, do it about 12 or maybe even 16. You need quite a bit more space. And with this, you go there. And it's called knockout. So first of all, we are going to center it and make sure it's in the right place. And then you just subtract. And what you do is knock out the bit where the word goes. And then that word will go into the middle. Like that. So then if you color it, for example, let's say we do this black. Because I'd want to do this in vinyl as well. And then we do celebrate. Let's have red, seeing as that's a totally opposite colour. Like that. So it would look like that. So you can do that. Or you can just have it below. So it says family celebrations. And then... We need enough room to be able to put the months of the year on. And then after that, you're going to cut out as many circles and hearts as you like. Um, I'm obviously doing double because I want to put two together to make it a bit firmer. Uh, and then we will go over to the craft table and I will show you how we put it together and make it nice and sturdy. Oh, before we start. That was very lucky. I wrote a note down so that I would not forget this. So this one 
what we want to do, I knew I'd done that. If we duplicate it quickly before you um, multiply, we need holes and we need them um, in the top. And in the bottom and then what we're going to do is just make sure they are all centered through the middle so they're all in the right place and then if we group them and then duplicate we also need that in the heart We're going to ungroup because they're different sizes, obviously. But then we're going to do the same thing. So this one needs to come up a little bit. About there. And then we're going to do the same thing and make sure it's centered. There we go. And group the whole thing. And here, we're also going to group the whole thing. So you've got your holes in there to join them together and then we are going to multiply however many you want. Okay then, so now we can get on and I will see you over at the craft table. Okay, so I'm over at the craft desk and I just want to quickly go through a few things. This is my nice bit of card and what I've done before I put this bit of tape down let me see if I can get a bit of paper and show you I don't know if you can see that but I've got invisible thread there and what I've done I measured that out so that I could fit 12 evenly spaced invisible threads and then I used this to do the lines to actually stick them down and then put tape over because I really want to make sure it sticks. And then once I've uh, taken the tape off, I will be putting glue on as well. I really want to be sure it sticks. The circles we cut out, what I've done, because I wanted to do it in advance, so I stuck two... Um, construction board together like I said and then I've painted them now you can put paper on them if you like or just use normal card whatever you want to do and then what I've done is used um, jump rings little jump rings and it was easier to use one on each one than put two together than put one between two um, and joined them together so they're in lines like that, ready to go on. So my hearts are um, wedding anniversaries and my circles are birthdays. Now, I did not do myself enough circles. Although I had a few, I thought I had done plenty. So I still need to do some more. But what we're going to do is tie the top one to each piece of string for the the month and the um, months I've got to try and find January it's always the last one isn't it No, that's June. Oh, well, let's pretend that's January. So the months will be going along like that. And we will be tying that on so that they're all hanging down. But first of all, we need to get this piece ready to stick everything on. So the first thing 
I have to do is get my extra card I want and I'm going to stick it down like that so the string is stuck down properly and then we're going to cover it with um, a sheet of paper and I'll show you how I manage that as well. So let me get that organised and I'll be back in a minute. Okay so again I've moved a few steps on so that you don't have to see the boring bits but I don't know, oh look that's perfect, you can see all the strings so what I done I glued all the boards together and then I added a bit of extra card just just for a bit a bit more um, security and then what I done I got 12 by 12 and I kind of laid it like this and glued to this without gluing the sides and then I got this where the strings are and used my pokey doll and poked holes and then fed them through and then glued down I hope that makes sense so they come through the paper I think it's a little bit neater that way and then all I need to do is cover up the back with a bit of um, the same paper that I have cut down to size so I'm just going to do that Scrape a bit of glue on. to do that. Make sure your strings are out of the way or ribbons whatever you're using. if some of it hasn't stuck just go over it again it's that simple so that is the main board now done so this is where I went a bit crazy because we'd already done this so I know I want to put that on that's already on um, the transfer tape ready to go on so I know I want that celebrations I done in white card but that will go there and we know we need the day of the month sorry the months of the year there so I thought well either that comes down there and I leave it as it is I found this paper which I've already put on my website ready if any of you want to download it comes like this and I think it's lovely but I don't think I've left enough room personally for it which is a shame because I love it so what it is spring summer autumn winter like a calendar and I was going to do a little bit of the background and then 3d that one and and put it over there and then put the months of the year over there but I don't think I've left enough room to then be able to put my okay so after much fussing I've decided I am going to use it because I like the way it makes the months of the year stand out but I've cut away the top part so I'm just going to stick it down with my uh, 
ever faithful book binding glue. Probably got way too much of, but glue coming off this bit so just to okay whoops not too worried about that and I'll tell you why in a minute so I just want to make sure there we go I'm still not sure it's the right fit but I do like it for the months of the year so I'm going to keep it on for now I've also got a 3D pit that I can put over which is why I'm not too worried about what I've done there so I'm just going to stick all the months on. So I pre-put all the labels on. I'll show you how I've done it in a minute. Just so that I know where my things have got to go. I haven't got everyone's birthday on here because, believe it or not, I didn't do enough. So all I'm doing is using my uh, foot binding glue again. Okay, so now we've got all the months of the year, I need to put this on the top. So I've put, like I said, I've already got it on um, transfer tape so that it's in the right place. And then I know it goes just over the top of the bulbs, which is why I wanted to put it on first so that it's not like when we put the actual bulbs on it doesn't matter that there's a little bit over the top that's the way I planned it very sticky transfer tape I have might work a bit better mm. there we go that's a bit better isn't it so that's the top half all on there the only one that's full letters there we go so what, what you need to, the best result to get when you're getting transfer tape off is to pull kind of so that the sheet is almost flat. Don't pull up because it will pull whatever you're trying to put down up as well. There we go. So this is reusable so I can now put it back on the sheet. I've already used it a few times anyway, I don't know if you can tell. And then, this is the word that goes in the middle of it. I'm just, I didn't do that on um, peel off. This one I just printed. And I 
think I am going to do it flat. So the only thing standing out will be the season light bulbs. So you decide if you want to do something else to it. Or if you just want family with the sort of wood effect. Maybe foil around it. This is what I chose to do. I'm still not, like I said, I'm still not sure the light bulbs are the right way to go. These four seasons. But we're going to do it anyway. And I am going to use my pin flare so that I know it stays because obviously it's got to last. I'm just going to use the new one open and I'm going to put one there. Just do it like that. Because I've got the key right now. That's all I need. So just four blobs on the top, four blobs in the middle. Because I want these to stand out a little bit. But I also want them to stay on the card. That's why I've used pin flare. Because when we get to the end, what we're going to do... Just make sure it's all there. Um... We're going to cover the whole lot with uh, some kind of sealant. So Mod Podge or actually book binding glue. These are very good for sealing your work. So you could use that as well. Now this paint has gone a bit dry. But what I wanted to do there we go, is just... Oh yeah. Okay, I'll take a little bit more. It's um, the paint I used for the hearts, and I, all I want to do is go round the edges just a little bit roughly. I'm just going to use this to the. I don't want a lot on there. Just to bring the red in. That's all I want to do. Just like that. Finish it off. Just there we go. Giving it a little finish, and then obviously, like I said, once that paint is dry, I will coat it in Mod Podge or like if you haven't got Mod Podge, the book binding glue does a good job, or any PVA glue, and then. You have all the names and dates in each month hanging. All I've done is double tied it onto the string. And depending how many you have, just make sure when you're separating that you leave enough room for each one to hang like that. Enough room in between each one so that they hang properly and that is your birthday planner done you could add 
uh, flakes or sparkles or gems or whatever you want to add to that but that is it I hope you enjoyed that any questions I think I've covered everything but any questions you know where to find me and I'll see you again next week thanks for watching happy new year again bye for now